Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Held Brickland Gore-Tex boots. These are Held's latest adventure boots and they're a lot more serious than Held's previous attempts, which have always had adventure styling, but they've really been relatively budget touring boots rather than what I'd call proper adventure boots. These Brickland Gore-Tex boots have a much more substantial and robust feel and the arrival of Gore-Tex as Held's waterproof membrane in their boots makes them a much more serious contender than those old boots. So these are made from a genuine leather upper, which is great for breathability, and there's hard plastic reinforcement around the toes and also around the heels, as you'd expect. There's also this plastic shin guard, but the label that shows the CE safety testing results for these boots shows that hasn't been tested for its impact absorbing or deflecting capabilities. That's not particularly unusual, as that is an optional part of the CE test, but it's something I felt it's best to point out. There's also foam padding on either side of the ankle, but again, I won't call that impact protection as there's nothing on the CE label to say they've been tested to provide impact protection at the ankles. There's a plastic gear change protector. As usual, that's replicated on the right foot as it just looked plain odd if there was only one on the left boot. And the last piece of extra reinforcement on the upper is this section of plastic down the outside of each boot behind the fastening clasps. The soles are by Vibram, that's a really respected brand and they're very comfortable. Half of the sole has lugs for grip while walking on loose surfaces and the other half has a lower profile for comfort when you're resting them on the foot pegs. That sole's reinforced for stiffness and these boots meet the basic level one of the transverse rigidity part of the CE test. This makes sure a boot doesn't just fold over on itself in a situation like a bike toppling over on your foot when it's laid on its side. So the boots secure with three clasps along the side and on these size nine boots, the lowest of those clasps has a strap. It's got 50 millimeters of adjustment. And then these top two have 85 millimeters of adjustment in those sliders along there to help suit different sizes of rider. Once they're undone, this Velcro flap comes away to reveal a pretty decent sized opening that should let in any size of calf really. Once inside, there's that Gore-Tex membrane I mentioned earlier. It's relatively new to held, but Gore-Tex boots have earned a big reputation over the years. And in my experience, it has the quality to back up that reputation. It's not just about the ability to keep water out, but it's more about the way it allows moisture to escape in warm weather too. It's more effective at that than cheaper waterproof membranes. The insoles for these boots are removable too, so you can replace them if you need to tailor the fit or if the originals wear a bit thin. While we're on the inside, let's show that CE label for the, their performance in the safety tests. Held list these boots as meeting the basic level one in all four compulsory tests. For the technical tests, that's resistance to abrasions, cuts and crushing forces, that makes sense that they've done that. But they're also listed as being level one in the height category, which strikes me as a bit odd. These size nine boots measure 36 centimeters from top to bottom, which in my mind makes them full height boots. I think in most people's opinion, these would be full height boots. Really, they should be capable of meeting the higher level two. I've asked Held if there's an explanation for that. I've not heard anything back yet, but if I do hear an explanation, then I'll add it to the description for this video in just in case you're interested in that sort of thing. So I spent 100 miles or so in these boots, and I'd say the biggest plus point for them is comfort and flexibility. I've tried a few different types of adventure boots over the last year or so as part of these videos, and the most popular alternative to these boots is the City Adventure 2 Gore-Tex. They have ankle bracing, as do some recent new additions from Guyane as well. These don't have that ankle bracing, which makes them much more attractive to riders who want a little bit more flexibility rather than that outright protection and bracing. So let's cover sizing and colours for these boots. The Held Brickland Gore-Tex come in sizes 37 to 50, which is 3 to 14 and a half for those of us here in the UK, and they're available in either brown or this black finish. If you want a shorter boot, there's also the Held Brickland LC. It's a lower cut version that comes in the same colours and the same sizes. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Held Brickland Gore-Tex boots. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching. 